Good morning, good morning, everyone. I just ran in the door from dropping off my kids. I see that some of you are popping on. We'll wait just a minute. Hey, Matt, good morning. Hi, Elaine, how's it going? Hey, Vanessa, good morning. Yeah, it's 8.30. How's everyone, how are you doing, Elaine? Excellent, bright yeah, and early, good. yeah. Uh, Running around, getting the kids ready, and now excited to connect with everyone. There you go. Another day at the office, huh? Yes. <laughs> Lights on. I know there are a bunch of people hopping on, so we'll wait just a minute. I can intro. So uh, we just got back from uh, Las Vegas from My Daily Choices, second annual convention. Uh, the first one was last year in October. About 300 people were there. Versus this year, the massive amounts of growth, HempWorks was introduced, and now it is a, it was about 2,000. I mean, we crammed in that room. It was, it was jam-packed, and the vision for next year at, at convention is 10,000 people. And so I hope all of you guys watching this, either live or on recording, are already making the plans, already committing, already putting some money aside, already getting childcare you know, ready, because you have to be there. You have to be there to experience the energy. And I know that we're gonna have a lot of people share out who were there. So from our immediate team, so our team name is The Empire, and we had about 14 people, and it was just really great to connect and actually meet each other face to face. So I'm gonna pass it over to the first sharer. Matt, did you, oh, let me, let me just ask, ask that everyone mute out. In the bottom left-hand corner, there's a mute button. Please mute out so that we can fully hear the people sharing out. All right, Matt, did you want to take it away? Yeah, I can, uh, I can share my feedback, Elaine. Thank you. Thank you for putting this together. And um, yeah, as, as you touched on it, Elaine, that was actually my first point was just, um, you know, the, the growth. Like you said, the first, the first conference that they did last year, it was only, what, a couple handful of people. To go from close upwards of 2,000 to, to a stadium next year, I mean, that's phenomenal to me. And there were, I mean, there were a couple of hiccups, you know. They, they, had, they had so many people there that they had a little bit of overflow in another room. Um, you can tell that this is, like, this is the ground floor. Like, this is the basement floor. And HempWorks and My Daily Choice, like, they're just getting rolling with these. It's not like another company that have done, like, 30 of these and they're polished and, and everything's just a smooth machine. Like you can tell this was like, this was the inception. Like we're witnessing the beginning and with any opportunity, you know, to be in at the beginning, to be in at the ground floor, it's just, you know, just a blessing and something that um, you know, we each have to take advantage of. So yeah, I'm excited to see what next year has in store to, to imagine going from just, you know, like a conference room to like a stadium um, I think is unprecedented and unseen in any other opportunity. So that growth by far was something that struck me right off the bat. Um, then I, I also liked, I, I really resonated with, and, and we talked about this, um, just the wide array of people who were there, right? Like I went in expecting to see a bunch of like young guys, like a bunch of entrepreneurs that maybe hit it with, with other companies and, and you know, sales professionals and, direct selling professionals but to me it just seemed like like regular people you know like the hand like the, the, a wide amount of senior citizens and just just regular looking people like I, I had all these like formal clothes thinking that people were going to be all in like suits and ties and it was just like like regular community people from like car mechanics and and librarians and like so I, and that really struck me because it's like okay this opportunity is available to everyone. Like you don't have to have been in four different other, you know, MLM opportunities and know what you're doing and, and have sales experience. Like each and every person is, a, is, has the opportunity to kind of tap into this movement and, and learn from it and, and grow with it. And that was, that was so apparent to me. Like you know, sweet old ladies. Like I thought some like 80 year old lady was going to win that Lexus. Like, um, I don't know. So that really struck me too. And, and then I think there was a, maybe you guys will agree. Um, I think there was a common theme among the speakers who presented that it seemed to me like, like each one put in the effort, 
you know, this wasn't easy for any of them. And they had to, they had to commit and they had to focus and they had to make it like a point, uh, like Megan's story, you know, where she, she said she was walking to the McDonald's every day just to use the Wi-Fi. Like she wanted it and she, she knew that she was going to get it, but still she had to put in the work. Right. So I think one point that really needs to be stressed is, and we talk about how inevitable this movement is and it's just going to take off, but that doesn't excuse the fact that like you still have to put the effort in, you know, it's not just going to happen overnight for anybody. Um, and I think all the speakers really did a good job of stressing that and saying how like, you know, a lot of them were at like their lowest, you know, and, and they committed to it, but they put in the effort and, and, and one year, two years later, now they're on stage presenting to, to 2000 people on how they did it. So, um, I was saying that's, that really struck me as, as like the common theme. It wasn't easy for any of them, but to, to go from where they were like one or two years ago to, to being up stage at that conference was, um, was incredible. And then I, I really enjoyed hearing Jenna and Josh speak um, because they, they too, they just seem like regular people. Like they didn't, they didn't have this kind of like smug CEO like energy about them. They, um, I think that's cool too. Like they're the people leading this movement and uh, just, just regular people that you would know from the grocery store the basketball with or, um, you know, so I think that's, that's really important too. Like they're the leaders of this and they were completely cool with like speaking with any of us, making themselves available, um, super down to earth. So I, uh, that's, that's really what I took away from the conference. Um, could they have improved in some aspects? Yeah, I, I think so. I, th I thought it would have been a little bit more informative. But then in hindsight, like thinking on that, like that just touches on the point that like this is brand new for them too. And they're just getting their feet wet and this is the beginning. So um, yeah, I'm excited to see what next year brings. And uh, yeah, it will, uh, no doubt uh, on the pace that we're all on, like we'll all be up there next year. Like this is, I, I have no doubt in my mind. So, um, but yeah, that's what I took away from it. So I'm excited to hear what you guys have to say and, and kind of expand upon that. But uh, yeah. Great point, Matt. Great points, Matt. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, yeah, Celie was up on stage and she said, you know, last year at convention, she was a 5K affiliate and now she's a 250K affiliate. So this is an equal opportunity, just like Matt said, but it does take the work. So Great points. Okay, let's keep our share outs. Uh, Chris, did you want to go? All right, am I on? All right. Um, let's see. Where does one even begin? I mean, there were so many. There were so many great things. I think that was taken away from that. First off, I think I need to start like writing my speech now next year, just so like I have this like bomb presentation on stage because like three thousand people isn't like a big deal, but like we're very like thirty thousand people next year. You know, and that was kind of their goal. Is like you, know, you went from 300 to 3,000 and now next year they want to 10x again and be at 30,000 I'm like, like all right I gotta come prepared with like something like stellar but um yeah I think I think all of the the points that Matt Matt hit on are are, are absolutely spot on and for me the first thing I took away was just how absolutely like real this opportunity is I mean I already felt like this was like this is the company everyone should want to be with. But after hearing Josh and Jenna and meeting a lot of the people at the convention, hearing um, they had somebody from our farm, Jen Canna, uh, speak at the convention, hearing him say that this is the only network marketing company that they work with to me was huge um, for Josh and Jenna to get in with that farm, um, which is obviously very important to us. Our products, you know, organic, non-GMO, their commitment, um, being on like the hemp round table getting a new farm bill passed all that kind of stuff just setting the precedent that there the the explosion that we've already seen isn't even like we're not even we're not even like we're still at the bottom of the curve like it's about to have like a massive explosion in this in this industry and they are absolutely committed committed to us in every single way possible um you know the launching of new products Launching of new products was huge. It was something that we were definitely waiting for, and I think it's something that we should look forward to probably every single year. Um, expanding, you know, just expanding what we have to offer people um, is huge for me. I'm trying to trying to think ahead of the big one here. Um, Josh made an announcement that he promised us that the compensation plan would never change, which I thought was 
you know, nice to hear because anyone who's come from other companies knows that sometimes they do that. And I, I absolutely take his word for it when he says that nothing is going to ever change. If anything, they would just make improvements to it um, that would benefit us. They added a new, they added a new rank, uh, master affiliate while we were there. So they're, they're constantly adding things um, to improve things for us. There's a big um, European, is it European or just it was international? Joshua, there's an international um, announcement soon. He couldn't, um, he couldn't make that announcement because he waits until, you know, things are set in stone, but it sounds like there's something big international coming. So there's all these things that are, the wheels are turning and things are just kind of, um, kind of really getting started to where this is absolutely the time for people to be in on this. Then I think that when we're talking with people, you know, the opportunity is something that we definitely need to be mentioning. This, this opportunity is going to be something that a lot of people are going to be upset that they passed on in the coming years. You know, we all know about the financial projections for the CBD industry and they went over that and it's it's probably uh, even crazier than we ever dreamed of where this looks like it's headed um you know I listening to the people speak Matt kind of touched on that all walks of life the one thing I really took away from it is it doesn't really seem to matter what what your what you really your market it doesn't really matter like these people were so diversified that it didn't matter if it was Facebook or whatever they be like no one really touched on that the one thing that was common throughout everything was mindset how your mindset is how bad do you want it you know how much are you willing to work for it because this isn't just something you put in 30 minutes a day like you need to put in the effort but all of these people came from um, you know they came from the bottom they were they were at their some of these people were at their lowest points in in life eviction notices on their home and Matt touched on uh, Megan Shudark walking to McDonald's to use Wi-Fi. Like if they can, if they can stand on stage and be a hundred, two hundred k, two hundred fifty, five hundred k affiliate. Like there's no reason that anybody um, can't be up there. I just think I, I just think that this is an opportunity that, that really has the potential for anybody to be successful with. It really is that special. Um, I definitely would love to see everybody there next year to represent, to have, you know, 10, 20, 30 tables of just our specific team sitting there, um, I think would be really special. And I think that's what I got for right now. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. To piggyback on that last point of yours. I mean, yeah. Hempire is going to represent next year. Like you, it's, it's a non-negotiable. If you, you know, if you intend to grow this business, you need to commit to being there. So just plan out. It's going to be in October. They're already going to be setting the date soon. Um, you know, set aside some money, start producing, start producing in your business and set aside that money to go to convention. Leaders show up. So leaders show up and the amount of people that you bring to convention will tenfold your business. Um, the energy there is just, it's contagious. The people that you meet in the elevator, the people that you eat dinner with, the people that you just chat with as you're walking by, um, you hear their stories, you hear what these products have done for their families, what, you know, what the, what the opportunity has done for their families. So you have to be there. Leaders show up, they're in the room. Um, so that's all I can say. And another kind of underlying tone that I got from the speakers is that it starts with you. It starts with you, your mindset, um, your attractor factor. Act as if, like act as if you're at 250K. What is a 250K affiliate doing daily? What, you know, skills and mindset and habits, what are they doing? How are they showing up each day? You know, are they, do they have dedicated blocks of time for their business? Are they, do they act with integrity to reach out, reach back out to each message to, check in with their people to, you know, host trainings. Um, so just really check in with yourself because are you, you have this vision of what you want with HempWorks. Are your actions and habits matching up with that? Because it does start with you. This is an equal opportunity, but it absolutely takes grit and conviction and daily blocks of time. It does take time um, and developing yourself, right? You, you may not feel like a leader, but if you have enrolled anyone, you are a leader, you are leading them, you are supporting them, you're plugging them into to all of our trainings. And it, and it is up to you to, to continue to develop yourself into becoming a, a confident leader, confident enough to come on one of these trainings, to share your story, to start to, to, start to, to, share, to share yourself. Um, so that's something else that I took away, that, that it starts with you, 
you do have it within you. It does take work. It does take lots of personal development, um, lots of, you know, getting past those stories and, and that are keeping you stuck and overwhelmed, but you can do it. People are doing it. People on stage did it. Um, so that was big. Okay. So then, uh, compliance. So all the videos, all the trainings will be eventually be available on video from what I understand in your back office. Josh has already started to upload some of the, some of the trainings into the back office. So make sure you guys, it's up to you to watch the videos. We have so many resources like in your back office under training, there are probably like 15 videos that you should be watching. If you're folding laundry, watch the videos. If you're on a walk, you know, put it on your phone, watch, watch a video. You, you do need to, like, it's up to you to, to put in that effort. Um, so the compliance, so the, the underlying message there was we need to, what is it? Protect our house, protect the house. Um, and so if, if you're, we cannot be making medical claims. You cannot say this oil cured my son's autism. This oil cured my, you know, my dad's cancer. You cannot do that because the FDA will come down on us and we all want to protect hemp works. We all love this opportunity and these products. And if enough of us are getting reported because we are not being compliant, we can have some serious problems. So me no making medical claims. Um, if you're confused about it, they stressed to reach out to Aaron at at mydailychoice.com. She's the head of compliance. So if you're confused and you've been sharing your story and you've been using certain terms or disease ailments, check in with her and ask if it's okay. I believe you can say like, it's helped with my pain or it's helped me focus. I believe like there's certain things that you can use, but you cannot make these big, huge medical claims like my MS is, is finally under you know, control. So really be careful with, as you share your story about making medical claims, we cannot, we cannot be posting that. Um, so be careful with that. And also income claims. So we all got this handy dandy little flyer. I can um, post it in the comments when we post this video. But whenever you post like, you know, oh, I made, I had a $500 week. I'm so excited. You need to post the income disclaimer because not everyone can do what you do. And um, if, if we don't post that, we can get in a lot of trouble. I'm trying to think of other compliant. I mean, I'm sure they're going to upload that video. So make sure you watch it. Um, just, just, we want to protect HempWorks. It's up to us to protect them so that we, you know, that we have this company to continue working with. Um, another interesting thing that um, I found out was Jenna retired. So she was one of the first affiliates in My Daily Choice. She started selling the sprays and she did amazing. She was almost a 50K at her first month. I have no idea how she did that, but, um, but she, she retired from the company. I mean, from network marketing. So she is no longer an affiliate. She resigned her spot. She is now going to be working in corporate with marketing and I, do, I mean, she must, she must be doing a ton of things, but she is there to um, help all of us. So she is not making, you know, a, a month, weekly, monthly paycheck from my daily choice, you know, for her affiliate work. So that was really interesting to me. Um, and so, and then the last thing is just getting to hang out with our team is just so, so much fun. Like we have such an amazing group of people. We're attracting just like minds. Um, so, you know, learning from the speakers on stage was great. T Todd Falcone, all the affiliates, amazing. But even just like getting to spend time with our Hempire team was just so fun. Just so fun. And I'll leave it at that. But um, next year, like there were big teams there, you guys, like 200 people in matching shirts. Like that is going to be us next year. So if you want a t-shirt or a hat or something that says the Empire, it's posted on my website, elainestein.com. I don't make any money. I don't want to be any part of it, but I needed somewhere to house it. So um, you can go there. It's in the upper right-hand corner because next year at convention, we are going to take a big photo with all of the Empire. You're going to have to have a hat or a t-shirt and just the, the, the quality people, the people that are seeing the vision. Um, it, it's really amazing. And yeah, we're going to be in a stadium next year. It's going to be huge. Um, and this is ground floor. This is absolutely ground floor. More products are going to come international expansion just like Chris said, the Gen Canna, that just blew my mind that we're the only network marketing company to partner with them, that their hemp crop increased tenfold. 
um, this last month because there's so much demand for this. And I think as laws start to pass and we just, we're going to start, we're at the cutting edge of a huge movement, the hemp movement. Like it's coming, legalization is coming. I think people are open. So many people have been burned by big pharma and medications and the system where everyone's looking for another way. And so if you are here watching this, you're at the right place at the right time with the right company. Um, I like my belief is a hundred percent in this company. So if you're here, that's amazing. We're here to support you. Um, uh, we're going to start to do trainings with Celie and her. So Celie is our 250 K upline. We'll start to do trainings with her. I think she's going to do it every Wednesday. And so we still want to continue to do Hempire trainings, but just do your best to plug in, watch the recordings, plug in, plug your people in. We have massive amounts of trainings, but if you feel stuck and, and feel like you need something, reach out to any one of us or post in the business group, because we want to provide you with all the information that we can but don't get stuck and boggled down on information because you can go to conventions, you can, you can listen to personal development, you can go to rallies and seminars and you know, you can do all that. But if, if you don't, at the end of the day, put in the time and action and, and actually do the work, um, you know, your business will, will be stalled and, and stuck. So that, those are my biggest takeaways. It's amazing. Plan on being there next year. Anyone else? I don't think Samantha's on that I saw. Matt or Chris, anything else? Final takeaways? Yeah, so I was going to mention, you know, one of the things I heard from a lot of the people that were speaking is what we've talked about in the past is that most, most, most of these people had previous experience with a different company. So the idea that, again, we have... Um, we have a product that everybody wants, everybody can benefit from. So to hear so many people having failed and almost being like, I want out of, you know, network marketing and I'm, I'm just done. And then to take that last chance with Hempworks and now finally see the breakthrough. I just, I just think it speaks volumes to um, the product that we have, the company um, that we represent and just the overall um, market that's out there for, for our products. And so, you know, it's just, like I said, it's, it's giving people the opportunity to be involved, not just, not just as with the products, but an opportunity to be involved with this business, I think is, is just giving them the chance to have that life changing opportunity, I think is everything. Yeah, definitely. With my last company, I never led with the business. I just didn't feel, I just didn't feel confident. This, this is Yes, there's amazing, amazing products, but it's also majorly about um, the business opportunity. Okay. One thing I think perhaps we should mention, Elaine, too, was um, that I didn't, I didn't see coming was the, the unveiling of the sample box, you know, and how they're making that available now and how people can really utilize that to, to get to people. Um, you know, it was like, what, nine ninety five for that sample box with the small samples of the various products in it that you could, that, you know, that people can buy and order for themselves and distribute the people who have maybe been on the fence, maybe don't, who don't want to commit to that, um, you know, $69 or $89 for the 750 milligram. I mean, you don't have to use them. It's a personal choice and, and they could be effective for people. So, uh, you know, consider the sample boxes that are available too. Um, and then what he, uh, Josh was saying to have, they're going to have that, um, that link available on the website that they'll possibly unveil too. That'll take people right to it. So that's huge. And then, um, then the other point you touched upon Elaine that I think is important is that, you know, even if you sold one bottle to somebody and they're just a customer, like you're still in that position to be a leader, right? So part of your responsibility is still reaching out to that person, finding how they're enjoying it, you know, making sure they're using it correctly. Um, and then trying to motivate them to become an affiliate, to share their testimonial. Um, you know, even if we just sell, sell bottles to customers and they have no interest in, in being an affiliate, there's still a lot of responsibility in the follow-up, making sure that, um, you know, everything's going kosher for them. And, and that's still a leadership position. I think you could still, I mean, I think people don't think about maybe converting some of those customers into affiliates just by getting them to kind of share, you know, share how the oils help them, share how the products are helping them. And I think a lot of those customers can be, can be turned into productive affiliates. So you said it. I mean, even if you're just getting started and you sold a couple of bottles, you're, you're not just somebody selling CBD oil. 
you're somebody who's a leader who, whose responsibility is, is trying to, to get other people to tap into the opportunity too. You know, if I, if I bought a couple bottles from, from Celie like I did and she never said anything to me about the opportunity, frankly, I'd be kind of pissed. Like this is like, I, I want to tap into this opportunity too. And I think a lot of people get hesitant you're like, oh, you know, I don't, I don't want to be aggressive. People aren't into direct selling. Like, you know, I don't think about it the other way. Like, I, I've been bloody pissed if nobody said anything to me about, you know, this is also an opportunity. You could work with us. You could participate in the movement. So be more aggressive in, in sharing that opportunity with other people. Like, don't just be satisfied in selling them a bottle of oil and that be the end of it. Like, tap them into this. And I think if we, if we get better at converting those customers into affiliates, like then the, the growth will just be excellent, exp, you know, exponentially greater. So, um, yeah, I thought, I thought that was also a point to make. So, yeah, great think, point. Great point. When I, when I check in with customers, um, you know, and they have a great product experience, I always ask, are you open to me helping you get your products paid for? There's an amazing opportunity attached and in their welcome email, and I hope you guys are all doing welcome emails. They're really powerful. Um, I, all, I have a section that tells about the comp plan that tells about refer three, get it free. So people, of course, exactly, Matt, I would be like so angry if I didn't know if I was just using the oil for months and months and months and loved it and didn't know there was this opportunity. Um, and everyone wants to be part of a culture, a community. Like we have something really, really special that we can plug people into, something greater than themselves. Um, so, so yes, this, this group, this opportunity, this company, Josh is like super duper, uber smart. He is um, like a chess genius. Like he plans out, I don't know, Jenna was explaining it, but he's super smart. And so yes, this samples funnel, I have not started promoting the samples. I want to know everything about it first. Um, but essentially, eventually starting next week or the week after, we will all have a link that we can send people it's called like a samples funnel. So you post on about it on Facebook. Who wants a free, you know, a free hemp works sample? I don't know what exactly the terminology will be. I think we'll get training on this, but um, someone wants it. They pay the nine ninety five shipping, so they pay it. It gets shipped to them. They experience the oil, the the lotion. It comes with a set of five. And then um, they're part of an email sequence to follow up with them. And so it's, it's this brilliant like whole marketing campaign, this funnel and the email sequence to try to you know funnel people in and plug people in. So I have not started using it. Yes, you can order them in your back office and have them directly shipped. You know, there is a cost to people who, and you can pay for them or you can order like a set of 25 if you're doing a table or something. But just know that if you haven't started promoting it, it's fine because more information is coming about the sales funnel, which will get this oil into the hands of more people. It's about a week supply of oil, um, a couple days supply of the lotions. It just gets people a touch, you know, they get to feel the products, they get to touch them and taste them. And so it, that'll hopefully get people plugged into our group and into the, into the vision. And I think it's gonna be so powerful. I just don't know the exact details yet. So stay tuned. All right. Um, but I, I think, you know, like we talked about the sample and Matt, thank you for bringing that up. Um, I think that's just a testament of, you know, again, these, the owners and the company wanting, um, wanting to do what we want too. you know, they're listening to us. We asked for that. People have been asking for that for a long time and they delivered um, the compliance thing, listening to um, their compliance person speak about, changing how the website is, how you have to identify the person that you're enrolling with. Again, something that we asked for, um, new products, international, you know, countries that we're getting, like they're listening to us, the things that we also would like to see. So, you know, that makes me feel really good about, about the company. And then the thing about, you know, reaching out to customers, offering them the opportunity. I think I'm kind of changing. I don't know if I'm almost changing my mentality for maybe wanting to even push the business a little more to offer it to people. Like we talk about, I mean, there's a big difference between cold messaging someone and just kind of like throwing out this huge thing. Like this is what I'm doing and this is whatever, but it's like, I don't think there's anything wrong at all about messaging someone, especially if you know them and just saying, Hey, I got an opportunity. Do you want to talk about it? And if they do, they do. If they don't, they don't. But I just feel like this is something that, should probably be offered to as many people as you can, just because it is, it is real. The products are real, the company, the opportunity, it's all very real. And I just feel like maybe we need to shift a little more into 
maybe giving more people the opportunity than we would have and not worry so much about if they're going to shoot us down or what they're going to think, um, you know, because when we're all 500K affiliates and they have and they you have that conversation with them a year or two years down, down the road and you're like, hey, remember when I offered you that opportunity? You know, maybe next time then they won't pass on it. But just giving people the chance to be part of this, I think, is going to be uh, something we should all be looking into. Perfect. All right, guys, we kept it short and sweet at 30 minutes. Um, stay tuned for our next week's um, Zoom call and stay tuned for the Sealy trainings. Um, and to make sure you're plugging yourself into that, those back office trainings in the meantime. And November, you guys, two months left out of the year. Like, what are you going to, how are you going to show up in these last two months? It's really exciting. Um, just because it's the holidays and crazy things like life never stops being crazy. So make sure to plug in that we can end this year. You, you can rank like rank 5k, 10k, wherever you are, set your goals, write them down, write down your goals, write down your short term goals and your long term goals. Um, because just like Chris said, this is really real. People are doing it. People want this oil. People want this opportunity and, um, we're really excited. So yeah, and those, those oils make excellent stocking stuffers. So with Christmas coming around, I mean, they can give out some bottles of 750 milligrams for, uh, for Christmas gifts. I mean, why not? You know, do a promotion for Christmas. But you can be creative with it. That was one thing I, I, I like, too, is, you know, you can run your own promotions, run your own specials. Think of, you could be creative in how you get this stuff to people. So why not fill some stockings with it? Perfect. I love it. Yes, absolutely. All right, guys, have a good day. I will get this uploaded, um, and then you can tag your people and have an awesome, what is it, Wednesday? Wednesday? Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys.